those uh My name is Rod Rosales. I am the owner and founder of Size Run Supply, uh, located in Brookline. Welcome to the shop. Uh, my name is Keenan. I'm the general manager of uh, all of the Concepts chapters in Boston. Um, I handle the operations for all of those spaces. My name is George. I'm George Anand. I'm 23 years old and um, I'm currently a student at Worcester State. I'm a business major and um, communications is my minor and I'm also a photographer. And um, a lot of my work is based off like fashion and a lot of um, street photography as well. Hey, I'm Brian Hansen and I own Concrete Wave in Worcester, Massachusetts for the past 28 years. All right, my name is Nick from Concrete Wave. Um, been here 13 years. I uh, help manage the shop as well as push my own skateboard company and clothing here. What does streetwear, in your perspective, shit? I can, I can go on forever because I'm a little bit older than most of you guys. Most of you guys can be my kids. Uh, I'm 43, so um, uh, back when I was probably around your age, I'm originally from California and I used to go to the skate shop and I used to work there. But back then, you didn't have streetwear shops. So that was kind of like the beginning of streetwear. And one of the very first brands that I was introduced to was Stussy. Um, that's when it came out and a lot of people get a lot of flack to Stussy, but if it wasn't for Stussy, there would be no streetwear. Supreme wouldn't have been birthed and all these other kind of brands. So uh, I love streetwear. I'm born and rooted in streetwear. I love what's happening in the marketplace with Virgil doing like the off-whites and what Kanye's doing for Adidas and things like that. But I just feel like it's not true to my roots. You know, being from California and growing up in streetwear, like I'm rooted more like in surf and skate and BMX and everything that's about action sports and things like that because they, at the end of the day, like those kind of kids, like is who really dictates what's cool and like what's not cool. So, um, I'm 43, I'm wearing a t-shirt, some khakis and some Jordan 1s and whatnot. I mean, it's kind of like a little random for a 43 year old, but um, but that shows you like how much influence like streetwear has like on me and what's happening in the shop. Um, it does go in its ebbs and flows once in a while. I've seen Supreme go in its very lows. I've seen streetwear in its very highs. And right now, streetwear is just phenomenal and very influential, and you can see that even in high-end fashion and whatnot. Yeah. Um, streetwear, from my perspective, is uh, just an expression of yourself, the way that you wear clothes, what you grew up around, what you're into. Um, it, for me, it represents a time of my childhood. Like I. My older sister is older than me by five years, so a lot of her friends, obviously, I had to grow up around. Um, and what they were wearing is kind of what influences the, the way I dress now and the way I've always dressed. So um, I grew up in the era of like the early Bape era, like 2000 to 2005, um, where the clothing was very gaudy. Everyone wore Bape, everyone wore the uh, Vizu, Red Monkey. So that's kind of what it represents for me is that that's weird space and time where it was okay to be loud and, and eccentric and still from a rough place. I just think it's like a norm from like, like it's, I feel like it's like a change from like what's like traditional. Like maybe like you're like going ac across the grain and like you're like setting yourself up as like an individual rather than like a follower. And you're just trying to like break away from like what's the norm of like society. So like if one people are like following this set of ideas and standards, like you're blazing like your own path and like you're trusting like your own heart and like your own ideals to like form something that like you're passionate about. As far as what does streetwear represent and mean mean to me within Concrete Wave, um, it's always been clothing part of Concrete Wave skate culture snowboard culture, um, there's just different brands that have come in and out in you know, popularity and then decrease in popularity. In my perspective, what does it mean to me? Street, streetwear is pretty much the outside um, choice to wear something that is not in the mall or somewhere online that you can just kind of look at and buy right on the spot. Streetwear is something that, you know, you're kind of going outside of the box to wear and represent because it's not just 
you know, I like that, I'm going to wear it, you're pretty much putting the name and slapping it right on your chest and telling everybody that you support this. Uh, where I lived in Thousand Oaks was almost kind of like a, a new world to me, coming from like the little nitty gritty like streets to a very like very suburban area where dudes are like in shorts and like long like wavy hair and all that kind of stuff and I'm going like what is this you know and uh, but if it wasn't for those kids and me wanting to fit in with them I wouldn't have learned how to skate I wouldn't have learned how to ride, ride a BMX bike or surfed or boogie board and all those kind of things and so um, those things kind of like stuck with me for a while uh, where did it come from and what did streetwear originate from? Um, obviously streetwear originated from hip-hop in its earliest points, but um, where it comes from is, is kind of an arguable era, area. Um, everybody always says everything originates from New York. I, I tend to disagree. It kind of... Everybody participates in streetwear. Everybody always has been. Streetwear is just what it is. It's what kids wear on the street. So it, it kind of originates from within you and what you're into. It's a little bit different for everybody. There's high-end stuff that is streetwear. There's lower-end stuff that is streetwear. They have bathing ape that is streetwear. Like we could say it's from Japan. We could say streetwear originated from China. Streetwear originated from the West Coast and, um, and gang culture from the West Coast or skate culture from the West Coast or hip-hop culture from the East Coast or anything like that. So it's kind of, it didn't necessarily originate from every, anywhere in particular or everywhere in particular. It's kind of just, it's all um, what your perspective is and, and all subjective to, to the consumer. Just like originated from like, I want to say like lower income areas just because like, I know for me growing up as a kid, like I couldn't really go into like the malls and buy stuff. So then like I would just like, whether it's like my friends would make clothes like in their basement, like DIY, or like if I knew like a local undercoming ground coming up, I would like support their stuff. And like, I just think it's like, you're taking like a look at like the traditional norm and you're almost in a way saying like, yo, like this is it for me. I don't find it stylish. Like let me make it something my own and like have it be something personal to where like other people can see it and resonate with them. And like I just I just think like the Rusa she wear like oh uh, like it doesn't have to be necessarily from the street, but like as long as you have like um, a key concept or like something that's like relatable for like other human beings to like see and like gravitate to, then like I'd feel like in a sense like that would be like the essence of streetwear overall. Uh, as far as where streetwear came from, originated from, um, Stussy, for instance, is a surf culture that's been out since the 70s, and it just evolved that it turned into streetwear uh, company that kids wanted it besides surfers, skateboarders, repped it, and other um, companies adopted it. Diamond, for instance, you know, is a skateboard brand, but all of a sudden then the rappers started wearing it and it started getting popular there. So I think it's always originated from ski, uh, from skateboard culture and it's gotten to the mainstream versus, you know, the musicians and other influences, models, etc., wearing it. Well, I think that streetwear originated from people kind of like me and Brian who decided not to be a jock or a nerd or a preppy and follow the crowd at school and kind of wanted to do our own thing and you know find our own home for comfort and you know do something different than other people. Where it has certainly had a, a positive and pretty big impact because of extracurricular activities such as skateboarding, surfing and snowboarding because most of the people that do this stuff are looking to go outside of the box to begin with. Most people sit at home and watch football on Sundays. I'm a different kind of person. I'll go skating or I'll go snowboarding or I will, you know, try to go visit a new spot to skate or film my friends skate and try to explore and do something different. Do you think photography influences streetwear if somehow? That's a tough one. Because I love photography. I'm just getting into it. I have like this little like I have like this little like thrift store, like this little guy, and I I've been shooting a, I've been shooting film with this guy going back to the roots of like film. This is a Nikon L35 AD, and I have about five rolls of film that I haven't developed in like two months. Um, when Cardi was here, we were hanging out, and uh, I just 
had this thing sitting behind the register and I just started shooting. And when they were doing the Ace Out Mob Tour, like, I just kind of like went along with him backstage and started, I started shooting with this thing. After the show, we were hanging out in the green room and like Ferg walks in and he's sitting on the couch and I just I take a quick shot of him and I post it on my Instagram and it was like probably one of the most like dopest shots I ever took. I got some really good shots of Rocky and then whatnot. Yes, I think photography is very influential. It's very, I wish I knew more technical terms of photography, but yeah, definitely like the capturing the moment. Anybody can get into it, into photography, which is easy, but defining like what you like to do is what nobody else can dictate. And that's what I kind of tell everybody is like, only you can really dictate what you want to do and like what you want to shoot and what you want to create. For me, where I'm at now, um, it was stuff that I had to kind of push forward because it's what something I believed in. And as a photographer, like, you know, you just have to shoot naturally, but your gut knows like when you nailed the shot. Like, and it, it does, it, I like natural photos versus like, you know, edited photos. Cause like, it's just a very, you know, spur of the moment, very spontaneous. And I think that's what's so natural about it. Um, but yeah, I do think it's very influential. So, um, um, I absolutely think photography influences streetwear, especially in the uh, age of technology. Um, everything now is based on social media and, and your, your perception of things through social media. And obviously with the emergence of uh, Instagram and Tumblr and all of the Twitter and all of these uh, social media sites that you can use that let you post images that, that takes a big role in the entire community as a whole. Um, with the lookbooks and everything, that's kind of just how they're always posted. Obviously, there's a lot of photography included in lookbooks and editorials, and um, it kind of lets you display your merchandise in a manner that you can kind of control the way it's felt and the way that it's perceived. Um, I definitely feel like like photography is like important because it's like, how else would you be able to like document like all the day to day life that like people are partaking in or like even like at night like how else would you like capture like certain memories like whether it's like parties or like real life aspects like I feel like photography and videography it's like it's like the key because it's like raw and like unfiltered and like you can't necessarily fabricate it like it's just like what whatever's out there like you're just capturing it and I feel like as like an artist like as a photographer like it's like my role to like document like what's authentic and like raw and like have it be like a situation where like if someone sees a picture of mine they're like oh okay like that's believable that's not like manufactured by like some big corporation that's like oh like we're gonna like take pictures of like what people think they like rather like I'm taking pictures of like what people see like in their day-to-day -day experiences as far as photography influencing streetwear um, it's always been out there as far as videos um, kids are wearing it you know during skateboard videos for instance P-Rod any of these guys are wearing Primitive which is P-Rod's brand it's gonna get popular if he's filming wearing it and his guys on his team are wearing it um, as far as still photos I think it's you know used wide on social media it's always gonna be out there in the presence of uh, that world and um, there's just different avenues that you can use it these days. Photography and the influences of streetwear, I would say that photography plays a significant role as far as giving the artists behind the making of the companies to basically give you a straight visual of what they're trying to portray or what they're trying to sell or what they're basically just trying to represent. Um, everybody has their own way of uh, branding themselves and most brands tend to do it a familiar way every season and every year it's just kind of twisted and turned in a, a different way to represent sort of the same thing. What do I think is important about streetwear? I don't know, it's tough. Uh, I love streetwear. Um, again, like going back to that, going back to the days of me growing up, it's I'm so rooted in it. Um, I love it. I think streetwear in general is very, how do you say, it really dictates what's cool and what isn't cool. Skateboarding, I think, has a huge influential like role in that play because these are the kids that don't really care about like what they wear and what they put on, but lately it has been. But what you see nowadays, like the kids like, like Sean Pablo and Sage and all those kids from like FA and all those kids from Palace, 
who who got who skates so rad, but then they also have rad style and it's very natural. Like you don't see them like forcing the issue. You look at Sean Pablo and Sean Pablo is like probably one of like the dopest skaters like right now. And he writes for Converse, he writes for FA, he's sponsored by, by Supreme. And it's all natural and it's not forced. And so I think what is important to me about streetwear is that don't really, don't really give into the hype. Like be who you are, wear what you like. And if you're cool with it, cool. But if people are into it, fuck man, like I don't know what to tell you. I mean like I wear, like literally you'll probably see me wear the same thing probably next week because I don't care. White t-shirts, black jeans, black on black, white on black. I'll probably look like the same thing in all the way until spring until I can break into colors. But you know, you really can't, you know, I, I can't really be the guy that says, this is what's cool, this is what's happening. Only you can dictate what's cool and what isn't cool. The main thing about streetwear for me, um, especially is self-expression. Um, when you wake up and you put on an outfit, that outfit kind of represents what kind of mood you're in, how you woke up, whether or not you slept well, whether or not you woke up late or early. Um, what you're going to be doing for the day and, and how you go about everything for the day. It's really your first impression on a lot of people, um, especially people in this realm and in the industry, as well as people who are just fans of the industry. The first thing you do, you, we look down at your shoes, look up at your outfit, and it, it kind of, it's the, it's the way that everybody perceives you and it's the way that we all uh, try and feel you out before we actually get to know you. So. Um, it's important for you to express yourself and, and be able to express yourself freely. I just think like the 2018 streetwear is like super vital because like even if you look at like the fashion industry like of today like high fashion like a lot of like their lookbooks and concepts comes from like people like us like young people like young creatives who are like they're just bold and like they're unafraid and like they're unapologetic of like what they like and what they believe in. And like just a lot of stuff, like even like hoodies now, you see them in like New York Fashion Week or like sweatpants or even with Virgil and like how he's doing stuff for like Off White and Nike and how like every celebrity in LA has a pair of his shoes. That it's like streetwear is like it's the closest like a company can be to the consumer without selling out. And I feel like at its core, streetwear has like it's like heart in like the day to day like everyday working person as opposed to like some high fashion like labels who are like only marketing their stuff to like the one percent. Uh, as far as importance of streetwear, it's um, it's always important. It's just these brands come and go. We see a shelf life to brands, let's just say hundreds. Hundreds was huge. It was a very small brand at first. Skateboard shops brought it in. We supported it. All of a sudden, these companies, like hundreds, wanted to blow up bigger, and they put it in the mall stores. They put it into Newberry Comics, Zoomies, etc. And all of a sudden, the brand's massive, and us skateboard shops shy away from that. We don't want to carry it anymore. And then, as soon as we stop carrying it, and then Newberry and Zoomies stop carrying it, then the brands are going to die off. So, I think companies really have to control where they want to put it. What's important about streetwear? Um, I think streetwear is important because it also, well, it allows us to be different and not kind of follow the, follow the crowd and copy what other people are doing, but streetwear is important because it inspires other kids and the youth to make their own choices and wear their own stuff or make their own stuff and try to push other people to do their own thing rather than us all being zombies and trying to do the same exact thing as everyone else. That's pretty much it.